Good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. Many people have asked me, how can I use HLOOKUP with VLOOKUP to obtain the result of the intersection, in this case, of four cities. The data represents the distance between the cities. So what I want to be able to do is to type a city in here from going to a particular city and to see how many miles, and these are just approximates, between those two cities. Now, the way this upload works, this is our goal to find out the distance between the two cities. The next worksheet is where we will work through the solution to see how the formulas work for us. And finally, there is a worksheet for those of you who may not be too familiar with HLOOKUP to show you how the HLOOKUP formula itself works. So remember, here is our goal. How do we create the result? So we'll go to the solution. And as I've done in many of my uploads, <clears throat> I've created the steps here, which we will tick after we've created each step. Now you'll notice that there are two rows here. The four cities, Sydney, Auckland, London and Chicago, with numbers between them. The numbers will represent the column that needs to be looked up in the VLOOKUP when we nest the HLOOKUP within the VLOOKUP. So first of all, we create an HLOOKUP to generate a number, remembering that that is row 1 and that is row 2, because we're not using VLOOKUP here, we're using HLOOKUP. So, if I place an equal sign before the formula up there and press enter it shows me an error message because there is no from city here but if I type a city in here I will see a number appear here okay so our from will say is from London now I will expect to see the number 4 when I press enter and sure enough that is what I do. Now the number becomes the column lookup in the V lookup. So we can tick those two as having been done and now the H lookup formula will be nested in the V lookup and the way I do that is to say V lookup what is in C5, <coughs> which is the, <coughs> excuse me, the two city in the range B11 to B14, that range there. And then after the comma, I then nest the H lookup so that the V lookup knows which column to look in. So there it is there with the two words false, which means that simply that the data, uh, the city data is not in ascending alphabetical order. So let's, let's do that. When I type an equal sign in front here, I can now say, let's check London to, for example, let's check London to Chicago. It's not case sensitive but you do need to spell the cities correctly. And when I press enter I see that there are 8,000 miles between London and Chicago. So those intersections there. So I've nested the H lookup within the V lookup as we see up here in the formula bar. I've simply added the word miles after the formula for appearance sake by using an ampersand and then in double quotes of space and the word miles. Now for appearance sake I've said hide the contents of row 7 so that's what we'll do. We will hide this row by clicking on it and then right clicking and hide. So the, the data 
2, 3, 4 and 5 is still there, except that it is hidden from view. Now we can check another city. Let's say from Sydney to Auckland in New Zealand. And when I press enter, it's about 2,500 miles. There it is there. So it doesn't matter whether it's uh, uh, the distance in miles, it might be delivery charges between suburbs that you could put here with the delivery charges in there. It might be student names and the results of their various subjects that they, um, uh, that they take. It might be time differences in various parts of the world where a company has offices. The data is only limited by, as I've mentioned, your requirements and imagination. So that's how I would create the VLOOKUP with a nested H lookup with some text after the uh, after the formula to uh, make it more readable and I've hidden the contents of the row which contains the numbers. For those of you who are not familiar with H lookup here in this worksheet I simply said H lookup the H stands for horizontal as opposed to V lookup which is vertical. So as I change the name of the city here, uh, I can perhaps type in London and when I press enter I would expect to see the number 4 which I do because the formula up here says look at what is in F8 in that cell and then look in the range F5 to I6 look in the second row because this is the second row in the data and use the word false to um, uh, because this information here is not in ascending order so that's how it's done uh, it is not difficult it takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of thought and remember that you can download this file uh, for free for practice sake from the description in the uh, uh, below the video itself thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time bye for now